Oh, Damn, teaching a defensive driving well, class. You should have opened with a compilation, of, like a live leak compilation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a live leak of people just getting wrecked. Like, I know like, like, sound, well, like this, Here comes the boom. There's also, the name there's also this, yeah, like, uh, the boom. there was this guy from, like, Portugal or something who was also, like, kind of like a bigger dude wearing, like, a leather jacket and he had this shitty hair. And at one, point, at one point, he said something about it. He's like, you know, that's, like, the problem with America is, uh, you know, like, blah, 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 blah. And the fucking white guy's like, don't start that shit in here. He's like, you don't like it, you can fucking leave. If you got a problem with that, you can talk to me. And he was like, about that. Yes. He's like, he's, he's like, because I'm about to knock yes. your ass the fuck out. And it's like, this is how you got into defense. They just all had, ro- they all had road rage in the class. Yeah. 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 The African guy is like, he's like, yes, yes, for example. <laughs> Just not blowing right past it, not doing it. Damn. These guys are about to throw bows over some like dumb like you know nine eleven bullshit. They, yeah, because this guy's like he's just heated off nine eleven stuff. Yeah, dude. You know, it's, it's like one of those you know, like just a faded flag on the back of his car. Well, see everyone like, when they're like that gave me purpose a... is being mad about nine eleven. <laughs> Like, I didn't do anything afterwards. I didn't volunteer my time. I just became racist, and that's my contribution. <laughs> oh, Never forget. Anyways. That's uh, so fucking funny. But, yeah, hey, if your dick doesn't work. Uh, yeah, it was sick. Now, the Queensboro Bridge, I was, like, looking at it or something, and it's like, it, like they list, like, the nine guys that died making that shitty bridge. <laughs> R.I.P., dude. <laughs> like, <the> sh- <laughs> Honestly, that's a pretty good deal. You get a name on a bridge? Yeah. No, yeah. no, it, I think it just said nine people. <laughs> Nine dudes died. Yeah, nine dudes died on this bridge. Yeah, it's like you think like three thousand people died in nine eleven, but like how many people died just building New York City? Oh, dude, a ton. Right? Yeah, a ton. Yeah, falling off of scaffolds and those I beams and shit. Yeah, those like rivet crews that were like just throwing three thousand degree pieces of metal at each other with like no safety harness. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, I used to work with guys like that. I'm going to become one of the middle-aged guys that, like, idolizes guys like that and gets mad at children. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> like, that's how they used to be. <laughs> Me? Well, no, I'm, I'm a soft-titted faggot myself also. <laughs> but I'm old now. <laughs> so you can tell from my Harley Davidson shirt that I would have been one of those guys <laughs> yeah. had I been given the opportunity to. Well, sure. yeah, every old dude gets gay, and they also start <laughs> being like, I love the military. Yeah, I would have served. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> I hope my I'm flight's served. delayed so I can shake people's hands in the airport. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing I want more than to shake the hands of, yeah, of veterans. Some Air Force Reserve <laughs> yeah, yeah. coming through. Uh, sir, uh, <laughs> you're allowed to wipe the Panera out of my mustache so I can suck your cock <laughs> while I wait to complain to this United. This man is a veteran. Where's his seat, ma'am? <laughs> yeah, it's awkward, too. Did you ever talk to one of those guys? Like I had a, I had a spring of a couple of Lyft drivers who had been like, there were soldiers overseas, and like mm. when you start getting into like the reasons they were over there and the money interest, those dudes go. Like, I love to bring up. I love to bring dude. up Call of Duty to those guys. <laughs> and talk about, dude, have you, I called in this kill streak on fucking whatever that airport. Level. <laughs> it was so sick, dude. Do you ever use one of those for real? Anyways, yeah. No, I'm really good at the game. But yeah, it was hell, dude. Yeah. Then I respond, and they came. Yeah. Back. <laughs> They're like, "Yeah, I was in actually Fallujah too." And one of my friends, and you're like, "Shut up, <laughs> God, shut up." <laughs> Talk about video games. <laughs> uh, you were a troop, Shane. How you like this? No, I was a troop. I don't support this. Yeah. You're, oh yeah. Fuck against this. I'm, yeah, I'm all right, man. <laughs> I was just waiting for a flight. Do you still wear the costume? Yeah, I have you a had the, the, co- the costume they gave you. At I West had the Point. boots. I was yeah. still wearing those boots for a mm-hmm. while. Yeah, yeah. Wait, did you ever consider the military? All the time. Yeah. Anytime I see that 20G signing bonus, I'm like, I could do it. And then yeah. I get like three minutes into the fantasy, and I like think about someone yelling at me, and I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna react all to that. <laughs> the only thing that ever scared me away was the idea of having to do something for more than six months. Yeah. <laughs> You know? Yeah. yeah. It's the same reason I don't have any tattoos or yeah. you know, any real opinions, actually. <laughs> yeah. No, that's true. Yeah, as soon as someone starts yelling at you, you're just like... Yeah, that's my uh, thing. Or I can just leave. leave. I can just leave. Yeah. yeah. I, I had a friend that was a uh, he was like a uh, like a artillery captain or whatever. There's like a friend of the friend. We would like hang out and go drinking mm-hmm. and stuff. And I was at like when I was like 23, I didn't know what I was gonna do, and like my money was like fucked up, and like comedy was kind of just like whatever. And uh, I was like, I was thinking about enlisting, and he's like, No. Yeah. He's like, Absolutely not. That would turn into a Fort Hood situation almost immediately. <laughs> 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 He was like, I'm telling you right now, you would do terrible in the military. 
Yeah, Shane yeah. gave me the talk. I was telling yeah, Shane, I, like, I would have been Universal Soldier, dude. Yeah, yeah. Just Matt work. was like, I could have been a Navy SEAL. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, trust me, everyone thinks that because they saw American Sniper, but I literally, nah. I think you just seen American Sniper. Yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah. That and Zero Dark Thirty. Because I've also dedicated my life towards like not having an alarm clock. Mm. So, like, <laughs> well, that's what middle aged That's what those middle aged guys are. Is like they also have the delusion that they could have done it, but they don't have anyone in their life anymore to be like, no, you can't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, because it's like, of course you can. It would just be cruel to tell that man that like, no, he was destined to sell computer parts that he didn't understand. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. no, true. Like you could have yeah. been a fucking seal, but no, instead you, you made the ultimate. ultimate you've been sacrifice. a fucking loser <laughs> your entire life. You will continue to be a loser. <laughs> you have nothing more than. And you're like model train forums and yeah. you know shaking people's hands at the airport. It's a tough thought, man, when you start thinking about like uh, the inevitability of how many people just die utterly mentally wrecked of just like it never worked out. Yeah, well, it's because they never <laughs> the learned to like live for people other than themselves, which is like a necessary transition. You have to like understand that you're like part of an ongoing process of like humanity there's people that came before you that died or whatever matt's got yep. two dogs he doesn't live for himself he's yeah. got two dogs to live for. no i heard that <laughs> <laughs> i'm hearing that man you are an ongoing process people get too hung up on themselves it's the worst thing in the world yeah <laughs> i'm just dude put me right I, I always said you bury me just put me in a burlap sack and kick me in a hole dude let me disintegrate Mm. That's weird to put people in a fucking. But here's the box. thing: it's like <laughs> people won't even care enough to do that. They'll have a regular funeral for you. No one will care yeah. about your stupid burlap sack. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no, that's why, that's like, I, yeah, he wanted some fancy burlap sack thing to prove how much of a regular guy he was. But no, no, really, he actually own... was a regular guy, and we don't give a shit enough. So here's your suit. Here's your casket. No, I don't put want you in that. the ground in Unless two years. Unless you served, dude, then they toss yeah. a flag on True. there. That's mm -hmm. the difference. Bin Laden. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're going to do that. You get a garnish. 